Right, welcome back to another video for N3 electrical trade theory. Now, in this next question, we'll be doing a calculation, and this comes out of the module Alternating Current Theory. Please uh, hit the pause button at each question, try the question for yourself, and just make sure that I've got the answers correct. Now, in question four from Alternating Current Theory, we have an equation that's being given, and this equation is for current. It is the instantaneous value, which is equal to 250 sine, and the angular velocity in radians per second is 314 multiplied by small letter t, which represents time. Now, remember to convert radians to degrees, we multiply by 57.3. Now, in question 4.1, what is the maximum current of the value? And the maximum current is 250 amps. In question 4.2, we need to calculate the effective value of the current, which is the RMS value. And to calculate the effective value, it is 0,707 multiplied by the maximum value. 0,707 multiplied by 250 amps. Therefore, the RMS value is 176,75 amps. Just remember to check that answer for me. Thanks. Now in question 4.3, we need to calculate the frequency. And in order to calculate the frequency, it is the angular velocity in radians per second, which is equal to two times pi times F. So therefore to calculate the frequency, it is the radians of 314 divided by two divided by pi, and that gives us 50 Hertz. Now the definition for frequency is the number of cycles completed in one second. In our final question, 4.4, calculate the instantaneous value eight milliseconds after reaching zero. So therefore, to calculate the instantaneous value, it'll be the maximum value of 250 amps multiplied by sine. And then to determine the phase angle, it'll be the angular velocity of 314 multiplied by eight divided by 1000 to convert milliseconds to seconds. And then to convert radians to degrees, we multiply by 57,3. Therefore, the instantaneous value after eight milliseconds is 147,166 amps. And you can just check if that answer is correct. Thanks for watching this video. Stay tuned and I'll uh, bring you the next video shortly.